Good morning. It's Wednesday of the first week of Advent, and this devotional video uh, will will talk more about Christ being born as a child in the manger. And we all know the story. We've known it since we were little children. Um, what we don't know really is how to read that story fully. Um, yes, there were shepherds. Yes, there were wise men. Yes, there was a stable uh, manger. But how do we understand all those details and what do they tell us about the coming of God in Jesus Christ? Mary and Joseph are on this trip because uh, Caesar has ordered everyone to go to their ancestral home to be to be registered in a kind of a census a taxation scheme. Um, and the Bible makes it sound like this was true all over the empire, but that's probably not it. It's probably more like this was something that happened in Israel at this time. Um, but they're on this trip, and they've come from somewhere else to Bethlehem. And there um, they arrive, and it's pretty late at night. So they go to the inn. Now, an inn in those days could best be thought of as a sort of a Red Cross shelter after a, a bad uh, tornado or something. Everybody in town comes and sleeps on cots in this big room. That is not a good place for a woman in labor to be public in the middle of this room with all of the uh, unclean and impure people who might have been in there as well, the travelers. So the innkeeper says, ah, I can't let you in here in the middle of the night to have your baby. Why don't you go instead to the um, out back where I keep the animals? It'll be sheltered and you can... Um, Put your baby in the in the cow's feeding trough if you'd like. So that's what they do. So they're he, he's born uh, kind of in an out of the way village in an out of the way country, um, without any fanfare or uh, uh, a, it, no one's in attendance. It's just a, a sort of a very very um, small out of the way kind of thing that happens. Um, to this, this baby as he's born. Think about shepherds for a moment. Now the shepherds of all the people in Israel are the most unclean and impure because they deal with sheep all the time. And so shepherds are, are kind of looked down on in society. Um, either they are these rough characters who are out there with the sheep and um, they don't get a lot of respect from anybody except the angels who arrive and announce that um, God has done something new and marvelous and glory to God. Um, they run and find the baby and tell his mother everything that the angels said. Um, but they themselves are not people that Mary or Joseph or anybody else would really want to come and look at your baby. Um, they're sort of the lowest outsiders, the, the excluded people in society. And yet, they're the ones who receive the message. Think of the wise men, scholars from, from the East, uh, Zoroastrian scholars who, who see something in the sky and realize that something's happened in Jerusalem. And so they come to, to, to learn about, about this child. And all of these different people uh, show us how important this baby is, um, important to God, important for the people. The leadership of Jerusalem has no idea he's born. Uh, Herod has no idea that a king has been born. And yet, this baby is God incarnate, and he comes into our world in this very unassuming way so that we can be uh, saved from sin. And so we give thanks to God 